What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today I have a really fun match here. I got a brand new team that is extremely fun to work with. And I promise if you stick around to the end of the battle, you will not be disappointed. Uh, looking at the matchup here, opponents working with a pretty interesting team. It's kind of out of the ordinary compared to a lot of the overused stuff that I see here. Um, but they have some annoying Pokemon like the Blissey. Fortress is also a little bit strange. Um, overall, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good match, so let's jump right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my low punny. Honestly expected them to lead off with the, the freaking the Walnut, the Fortress. Uh, ends up actually leading off with the Blissey. And what you're seeing here is a showdown of a couple thoughts. I got my thought, Blissey's also a big booty thought. And uh, there's only room for one out here, so obviously Blissey goes ahead and switches out. And they end up switching into the Dusk Noir. So that, that lead matchup ended up working out perfectly for me. Uh, but of course, I'm not going to click high jump kick and just kick my way right through the stomach of this Dusk Noir. So instead, I just decide to go for the U-turn. An early pivot is nice because now I get a matchup against this thing. And honestly, Dusk Noir is kind of a problem to my team. Uh, I'm not really sure what set this thing is working with as they kind of have a couple options. But I do have the Scooby Doom ready to solve some damn mysteries as I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Actually expecting another switch. So I'm getting my predictions going early. Unfortunately, they do not end up switching here. And Dusk Noir takes the burn, which... Honestly, isn't too bad because these things do generally carry some pretty strong physical attacks. It shows me uh, ends up going for the Thunder Punch there just to get some damage. And even with the burn, my guy is just hitting the dog for like half damage. So what the hell? But um, I'm going to end up going for a Nasty Plot here thinking, okay, for, they're for sure going to switch out this time. I have, don't see any reason for them to stay in. But he actually just goes for a Thunder Punch once again and ends up getting the Para. So... It's looking like Scooby's not quite going to get the sweep that I was looking for. And also, this is a very important Mon for me, especially because they have that Fortress on that side of the field. Um, but I'm luckily able to still outspeed even through the Para. I do not get fully paralyzed, and a Flamethrower is going to be able to knock out the Dusknoir. So, uh, there's a couple reasons why that's really nice. One, because that thing's relatively bulky, and my team doesn't handle it very well. Uh, and two, it's the only spin blocker they have on their team, so my Clay Doll is now open to rapid spin pretty much against anything. So... Uh, in comes a Charizard. Obviously, he comes in for free. This guy is sitting on some free real estate because I do not have my Stealth Rock up. Uh, so he's not going to take that half damage. And then just takes me out with an Air Slash. There's no reason to really uh, keep Scooby around. There's kind of nothing he can really do. He's slow and paralyzed. And I didn't want anything else to take any damage. So, uh, here I decide to go into the Clay Doll. Now, the reason for that is because I've seen Charizards lately working with... Um, with, working with Solar Beam and a Power Herb, which turns out to be exactly what this thing is working with. So, uh, Power Herb allows this thing to Solar Beam turn one. I know that Claydol can take one, whereas obviously the Relicant was kind of the easy switch in here, just kill it with a head smash. Um, but Claydol is a little bit of a safer option here. I'm able to burn that thing's Power Herb so it no longer gets any turn one Solar Beams, and I do get up my Stealth Rock. So. Uh, in a pretty good position, I really wanted to get that, them rocks up just to kind of punish some switches, especially when there's a Charizard rolling around, flapping his wings like he owns the fucking place, but, um, yeah. So, Claydol does not really want to stay in here and take an Air Slash. Now I figure, I, you know, I can bring in the Grandpa and don't have to worry about any Solar Beam shenanigans as it ends up going for a Flamethrower. I'm thinking, please do not burn me, brother. That would be real cool if you couldn't, but, you know, of course, Grandpa just cannot catch a break. He's getting flashbacks. And uh, he's just out of here burnt. So, you know, that's wildly unfortunate. But I'm still choice banded. And Relicanth hits like a fucking school bus. So, I'm going to go for the head smash here. As it's kind of just the obvious option. Um, they are going to end up switching out into Fortress. Comes in with his little glasses on. Blinking. He's like, hey, how's it going? And then, boom. Just imagine switching right into a, a fish going Mach 10. I'm talking about just headbutt right to your face. And uh, it actually, you know, it still does a decent bit of damage even with the burn. Uh, so that actually would have been really nice had I not been burnt there. I could have gotten like a two-hit KO on this thing with a head smash after outspeeding. Uh, but you know, what are you gonna do? You got a burnt fish. It's, you gotta it's, sometimes life deals you a burnt fish, and then you gotta make uh, fucking lemonade. I don't know. But I'm gonna switch this thing out as I decide to go into um, the drift limb because I know a rapid spin's coming. Of course, you bring in a fortress. Definitely gonna rapid spin. So. Uh, I can bring in the ghost, and of course, I'd say, no, 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 those stealth rocks are yours, you can keep them, I'm not taking them back. Um, so this actually allows me to go for a substitute here, I kind of want to see what this fortress wants to do. Old Driftblim's doing a little bit of scouting here, I don't really want to set up because they do have a Blissey in the back, but uh, they actually end up just going right for the Volt Switch here, and that is unfortunate, gets rid of my beanbag, um, and then this allows them a switch into whatever they would like. 
Um, so they actually decide to go into the Grand Bowl, which is a Pokemon you know you don't see often. Comes in with the Intimidate. Um, you know, relatively bulky Mon. I obviously can't really do too much to it with the Drift Blim. Um, and I do want to kind of conserve this thing because Drift Blim, this is actually a really fun Mon to use. I've actually been really enjoying this set that I'm working with. Uh, I'll kind of go into it a little bit more later on, but um, I'm going to end up switching here as I do want to save uh, the Drift Blim. It's, the cool whip on his head is going to go bad if I leave him out for too long, so I decide to go back into Grandpa. The reason is because I know I can take an attack, and then plus I can hit really hard with the head smash. Uh, in return, but he actually ends up going for a Thunder Wave, so I could have potentially gone for another sub there uh, and blocked that, but, you know, I'm already burnt, so he can't burn me and paralyze me. God, they're just ganging up on Grandpa today, Christ. Uh, but now I just go for the Head Smash, and, you know, it's still not going to do quite enough, as this thing actually ends up yelling at me, roars me out, kind of an interesting play, because they actually don't have any hazards up, so... Uh, the Roar just drags out Thought, and it's not too big of a deal because I'm not taking any hazard damage, and then I can kind of just work around this thing. So, uh, I do not really want to get this thing paralyzed, as I know Choice Scarf Low Punny is going to be great for me in the long run. Uh, so I just decide to U-turn. If he wants to Roar again, that's totally fine. I'm just going to bring back out Grandpa because there's really no reason not to. And yeah, I do want to save the Low Punny. Let that be a lesson. Keep the thoughts in your back pocket. You never know when you might need them. So... Uh, back comes Grandpa Fish. He's like, huh, what? What's going on? As I come in on a play rough. And actually doesn't do very much. Grandpa is bulky as hell out here. I mean, obviously, this thing's probably not invested too much in attack. I'm not really actually sure. It looks like it could be relatively defensive, but who knows. Um, I'm just going to end up going for another head smash here. If I can whittle this thing down, that's kind of the idea. Because I don't actually have anything currently on the team uh, that can knock this, thing, knock this thing out from that range. So another head smash puts it to the point where... Uh, it can easily be taken care of. So it goes for another roar, just yelling at me, like, stop it, Grandpa can already hardly hear, and it just brings out Lopunny again. I'm like, please, for the love of Christ, what does it take to get Dust Ducks to come out here on a roar? That would be really nice, because then I could just kill you with a sludge bomb and have a nice day. But at this point, again, I do not want Lopunny to really go to waste here, so I just end up going for a U-turn, and they are going to end up switching into the Fortress. So the guy's like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some shit going here. I need some Stealth Rock up if I'm going to continue to just do these roar shenanigans. So, uh, the U-turn there is nice because this allows me to switch into whatever I would like. And, you know, what I would like is Houndoom. Although, I kind of wasted that thing early, so that's not going to really work out for me. But it is time for Molly the Moth, the comeback. It's probably been like eight years since I've used this Dust Ox, but shout out to the OGs of the channel who do remember this fella. Uh, Molly the Moth is an absolute, le absolute legend and is not to be fucked with. I'm going to tell you once... Um, but I decided to go for a Quiver Dance here, because I'm thinking, alright, Fortress is for sure going to at least burn a turn going for a Stealth Rock here. I can get a free Quiver Dance and potentially get old Molly to get some stuff going. Um, so they actually end up going for the Rapid Spin there. It gets rid of the Stealth Rock, which is unfortunate, so Charizard can come in for free. But honestly, not if Moth has something to say about it. I'll tell you what. So my plan at this point is pretty much this. If I can continue to set up Quiver Dances with the Dust Ox, even though they have the Blissey on their team, I could potentially get a Dust Ox sweep going, and that's exactly what we're gonna do, boys. They end up going into pink, absolute bane of my existence for the 11 or so years I've been playing competitive Pokemon. Boy, do I hate eggs. And it's actually kind of fitting, it's, it's Easter right now as this recording is happening, so that's hilarious. But I get up another Quiver Dance as old Egg Boy comes in, and I know that I'm probably going to need a few more, but I decided to go for a Bug Buzz here to scout some damage, A, and then B, potentially get a special defense drop, which would help me greatly. Uh, unfortunately, do not get the Spadef drop, and this thing shows me that it actually has Flamethrower. Um, so, with my special defense boost, I can take that pretty nicely. And at this point, I speed up the battle a bit here, because obviously any time there's a fat Blissey on the other side of the field, it's, it's just going to be annoying. But I'm Quiver Dancing. They're essentially just going to hit me with their coverage moves. I don't know why they decide to Ice Beam there. Um, but I really just kind of need to boost the Moth here. I go for another Bug Buzz, bring it down to about half. But if I can win this matchup against Blissey, they're going to be in for a world of pain caused by this Dust Ox, which this person has probably never experienced before. But... Uh, luckily, they're not getting the burn on the flamethrower, and with my uh, with my black sludge recovery and my special defense, it's looking like I can come out on top here. Um, it ends up eating one of its eggs, which it's, honestly can't, seems kind of gross to me. Like, does it just grow one back? I don't really know the logistics of that, but um, I'm continuing to go for the bug buzz, hoping and praying for a damn special defense drop. I feel like I get them all the time when I don't need them, but the one time you need them, you, you need one, you just don't get it. 
Um, his last flamethrower actually knocks me down to seven, and it's looking like he's actually close to being in range for another Bug Buzz kill. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for that and think, all right, Dustox can make it happen here, but he actually ends up switching out. And he's like, okay, I've only seen this thing Bug Buzz. Charizard can come in essentially for free, of course, because no Stealth Rock. And even with like my plus four, you know, that Bug Buzz is not gonna do a whole lot uh, to the, 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 the Game Freak Golden Boy over here, fucking Charizard. So. Um, I do actually have coverage, of course. I'm just gonna go right for a Sludge Bomb. I'm looking for an opportunity to get up a Giga Drain on something, but the Sludge Bomb easily takes out Charizard with the amount of boost that I have, plus I outspeed because I'm about fast as hell. And the Moth is ready to make things happen, boys. It is going down. Dustox is about to is, is about to do it to him, but opponent just turns off their Nintendo Switch. Just straight up just ran from the Dustox. But not today, my dude. Dustox is about to end this man's whole career, and this is what would have happened. So, Fortress comes in. He's thinking, okay, I'm safe. Nope, absolutely moth food. Dustox now enjoys the taste of eggs. Blissey goes down. Swampert says, am I safe? Nope, you're dead. In comes the Grand Bull. Of course, just gets absolutely destroyed, and the moth comes out on top. Honestly, you know, the moth, the moth sweep was cut short. But uh, Microsoft Paint exists, and luckily we have technology. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.